Welcome to Inhabited, the Living Room Scale project. This is a video tutorial explaining the structure of each image within the portfolio. Each image contains four separate components. There's the photograph of the living room, there's the project legend, there's the inhabitants info, and then there's the chart located across the bottom. Let's begin with a photograph of the living room. It contains a series of overlaid boxes which isolate the objects that occur in the chart below. Each box has a number with a circle around it and then a positive or negative number. The number with the circle corresponds to an object identified in the chart. So we can see here a 6 is identified as wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and gives us a positive weight of 2. The chart contains 91 separate objects that give us positive points like hardwood floors and objects that decrease our class score, like shag carpeting, which decreases our score by negative 4. Every object that does occur in the chart below is identified by its appropriate box and number designation. There are some objects that can occur multiple times within the space and are marked out by multiple circles. Like here, a number 17 occurs 1, 2, 3, 4 times. And a 17 is identified in the chart as reproduction, poster, or sculpture, and gives us a weight of negative 5. And since it occurs four times, the weight then becomes negative 20. The living room photograph may also contain a yellow dashed line, and what this identifies is the end of the living room space, so no grading will occur beyond it. Once every object is identified within the living room, a total class score can be generated. This is laid out by the project legend. It shows us the equation that class equals 100 plus the total from the point table. And it also gives us the appropriate number ranges and score. So if our score occurs between 100 and 184, we would be determined to be middle class. It also gives us a history of individuals who have used the chart before. The first one was in, by F. Stuart Chapin, who used the chart in 1935. The inhabitants info contains two separate infograms. The top one gives us the gender and age of the individuals who live in the home. And then there is the longitudinal latitudinal address to the house itself. Beneath is information on the dimensions of the room size, and then the total class score. And we can see here this one was a 20, which was determined to be low proletariat. I hope this explains further how each image works in the living room scale project. Thank you.